The history of India is full with stories of queens, warriors, poets, scientists, and social reformers who have challenged conventions and paved the way for progress through all the difficulties. By playing a pivotal role and creating marks on nation's narrative, these women, with their resilience, intelligence, and determination have defied societal norms and contribute significantly to various fields. Hello, my name is Isha Narvekar and I'll be sharing the stories of 10 powerful women who fought for their dreams and courageously made it a reality. We women always look for inspirations to take that one step that can make our dreams come true. This series is a small attempt from my end to inspire the nervous kid inside to overcome the insecurities and make the dreams of today reality of tomorrow. Number 1. Ahilya Bai Holkar She was born on May 31st, 1725 in Gram Chunda in Maratha Empire. She is regarded as one of the finest female rulers in Indian history. She spread the message of dharma and promoted industrialization in 18th century. After the death of her husband and father-in-law, she ruled Malwa in rise of sagious manner. On various occasions, she led the army herself from the front like a brave warrior, armed with bows and arrows, the elephant. It is said that during her reign, Malwa was never once attacked and remained on oasis and stability and peace. Number 2. Sarojini Nairu she was born on February 13, 1879 in Hyderabad, state of British India. She was an Indian political activist and poet. Her work as a poet earned her sobriquet the Nightingale of India and Bharat Kokila by Mahatma Gandhiji. She was an important figure in India's struggle for independence from colonial rule. In 1925, she was appointed as the President of Indian National Congress and later became the Governor of United Provinces in 1947. She was the first woman who hold the office of Governor in Dominion of India. Number 3. Aruna Asaf Ali She was born on July 16, 1909 in Punjab, British India. She was an Indian educator, political activist and publisher. She actively participated in Indian independence movement. During the Quit India movement, 1942, she is remembered for hosting the Indian national flag at Gwalior Tank Maidan, Bombay. This gave her a long-lasting image in the movement. She became a member of Indian National Congress and during Salt Satyagraha, she participated in public processions. Post-independence, she remained active in politics and became the first mayor of Delhi. In 1992, she was awarded the Padma Bhushan and in 1997, the Bharat Ratna posthumously. Number 4. Savitri Bai Phule She was born on January 3, 1931 in Naiga village in Maharashtra. She is counted among the first female feminists in India, a pioneer and teacher and an anti-caste discrimination activist. She was the first ever female teacher in the country. She, she played a crucial role in women's empowerment with the support of her husband, Jyotir Rao Phule. In 1848, Savitri Bai and her husband established one of the first modern Indian girls school in Pune at Bhidewada. She was also a prophetic Marathi writer. Number 5. Anandi Gopal Joshi She was born on March 31st, 1865 in Kalyan, Bombay Presidency, British India. She is considered the first Indian female to study Western medicine in United States and was one of the earliest female physicians in the country. She inspired various women to pursue further education. Her original name was Yamuna. She was married at the age of nine to Gopal Rao Joshi. After returning from US to India, the princely state of Kolhapur appointed her as a physician in charge of the female ward of local Albert Edward Hospital. Number 6. Suchita Kripalini 
She was born on June 25, 1908 in Ambala, Punjab, British India. She was an Indian freedom fighter and a politician. She also was the first woman chief minister of India and served as the head of Uttar Pradesh government from 1963 to 1967. During the Quit India movement, she came to forefront and was arrested by British. Mahatma Gandhi ji wrote about her, a person of rare courage and character. who brought credit to indian womanhood she also became a part of sub committee that laid down the characters for the constitutions of india in 1940 she established the all india mahila congress number 7 lakshmi sahagan she was born as lakshmi swami nathan on october 24 1940 in annakara madras presidency british india she was a revolutionary in indian independence movement an officer in indian national army and also the minister of women's affair in azad hind government she is commonly referred to in india as a captain lakshmi it was a reference to her rank when taken prisoner in burma during the second world war number 8 indira gandhi she was born as indira priyadarshini nehru on november 19 1970 in allahabad united provinces of agra and of british india she was an indian politician and the first female prime minister of india who served three consecutive terms from 1966 to 1977 and fourth term from 1918 until she was assassinated in 1984 in an online poll organized by bbc in 1999 indira gandhi was named women of the millennial She was also named by Times Magazine among the world's 100 most powerful women who defined the last century in 2020. Number 9, Anna Chandy. Justice Anna Chandy or Anna Chandy was born on April 5, 1905 in Tiruvannadapuram. She was the first female judge 1937 and then in 1959 the first high court judge in India. It is said that she was also one of the most first female judges in British Empire to Emily Murphy. Number 10, Kalpana Chawla. She was born on March 17, 1962 in Karnala, East Punjab, India. She was an Indian-born American astronaut and engineer. She was the first woman of Indian origin to go to space. In 1977, she first flew on the space Shuttle Columbia as a mission specialist and also the primary robotic arm operator. She died 6 years later on February 1st 2003 when the space shuttle Columbia broke up on the re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. All 7 astronauts were killed on board. The legacy of Chawla has lived on. Her talent and her work inspired young people in India and across the world to consider careers in space flight. In the upcoming video, I'll be sharing the stories of new age women who have shaped their career with further shaped the definition of empowerment for the world. I will help you delve deeper into the world of how women are shaping the world. and exploring the unexplored don't forget to subscribe and get further updates about our video